So hey, in this video we're gonna basically install an FPS boost. An FPS boost allows us to basically get a more consistent frame rate and this way our gameplay becomes a little bit better. And also some of the things will not be visible, so I think some PP players should appreciate this. So this is how the game looks right now. I'm currently running some ultra settings, as you can see. We're gonna uh, set them to low pretty much soon, but now I'm gonna just showcase how the game looks. I think it looks pretty nice, but it's gonna change in a minute. So yeah, nothing special. So basically to install this mod, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is just basically download my mod collection from my Discord server. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. So I already have it downloaded. Uh, you just use any tool like 7-zip to unzip this archive. It's pretty easy. So all you have to do is just go to this FPS boost folder and take this FPS pack. We're actually gonna copy it. So let's just copy it, just right click and copy. And now we have to go to our um, dying light installation path. So to our dying light folder. So just go into your steam, uh, right click dying light, click properties, local files and click this view button. It's actually pretty easy. So as you can see, this is the games folder. Um, let's install the FPS pack in our DV directory. So let's just copy it and paste it right here. So as you can see, our FPS pack is in the DV directory. And uh, um, now we have to configure the divemod.ini. So if you don't have divemod and dsound, those two files basically need to download them from here there's also a tutorial on how to load any mod in the multiplayer but i'm not gonna do this right now uh, so if you want to load mods into the game just use this tool basically those two files so yeah um, just go in the divemod.ini file and all you have to do now is basically load this data pack so you gotta load uh, the data pack below this custom pack line. So basically just add a, a new line. And now we can need to actually go in our DB folder again. This time is actually pretty simple. Just go into this folder, uh, copy the path from this search bar at the top. Or how do you call this? And now paste it in here. So yeah, just add a backward slash. And now we need to copy our data pack's name. So let's do it right now and paste it, paste it here. You don't have to copy, you just have to know it. So actually after the name, you gotta add dot pack equals one. And bam, basically just save the file and this is how you load mods into the game. So now that we have FPS boost installed, we can actually go into the game and see that some things have changed. But before doing anything, I need to actually uh, set my settings to low. Uh, I, have, um, I have them on ultra right now. As you can see, we absolutely have nothing on, in the background. That's part of the FPS boost just actually set everything to off yep yep and I'm gonna leave uh, everything the same there so actually I need to restart my game because I changed one setting I'm just gonna do it real quick it's gonna load up pretty fast I guess so yeah our game looks pretty horrible now, judging by this model. So actually go into the campaign. I'm gonna go into this one. Okay, let's press the spacebar and load into the game. So instantly we see a lot of changes. As you can see, you have absolutely zero grass. 
you have basically nothing and your game looks pretty horrible but for some pvp players as i said uh, it's gonna be pretty nice since they can see more things and uh, actually my computer is pretty nice so there's not gonna be much of a difference in terms of the frame rate but on some worse pcs it's gonna be like a very big difference so yeah the roads are pretty much fucked up as you can see here the zombies are too oh basically the game looks pretty horrible now as you can see there are absolutely no details or anything like this the game just looks like a fucking i don't know 2002 one so yeah that's pretty much it this is how you play the game in the lowest settings possible.